Pace, Pizza Piper 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 Pace. Right, Ash, challenge is done. Stupid idiot. Um, Ash is one of my closest friends, and he's uh, he challenged me to uh, say Pizza Piper Pace ten times on the vlog, and now it's done. And when he starts vlogging, I'm gonna make him do something so much worse. Anyway. Well, that was a fun way to start the morning. <laughs>
it might just be a case that I rock up and they give me a bib. It might be a case that they don't know who I am and don't really care. Anyway, here are the time shoes. Here's day one, day two, and this stupidly long one is day three. The stage isn't that long, but it is god awfully brutal. Shipton Wall. Shipton Wall. It's a cobble climb and it there are sections of it that reach 30%. That is that's horrendous. That's in the middle of the that's in the middle as well. It's right there. Anyway, I'm gonna highlight all the bits I wanna get to. The bits that I think will make the best photographs and then try and work out the timings. What I try and do, this is with these kind of races. I usually want to find points that are about an hour away from each other. That gives me around about roughly, I use about 20 minutes to get to each point. I always, you know, give or take. And then expect them to come through within a half an hour or just over, which give or take is usually correct. Sometimes, with some races you can push it. With Yorkshire having experienced it last year, with all the roads being lanes and farm tracks, it's a bit hard to try and navigate through the dales and all the other lanes or the field and the rest of it so so sometimes you have to be really strict with this one i'm gonna run through this where's my highlighter here is the start of day one and then as you can see it's a pretty straight road that just cuts through down before turning north and then up through the North Yorkshire Dales and the, well, sorry, the, sorry, the North York Moors. Up here, he gets to Whitby and then comes back down to Scarborough. This is basically the last stage of 2016, with some changes, but it's it's similar. It's hard from day one. This is not an easy race by any means. From here. As you can probably see, it goes slightly north and then west and then back down. As a photographer, you have the opportunity to cut down these lanes and possibly back up to catch them there before joining the race route. So essentially, you cut through a little gap and you join and you, you follow the race route until you find a spot that you think looks good. This area, Driffield, possibly the best place to be able to cut across to the first climb. This lane right here, all the way through. And from there, you'll be backtracking a little bit and then cutting up through the other lanes before you get to the North York Moors, get into another spot. It's so beautiful that it's worth photographing. So I'm gonna try and get there before finding a route back down into Scarborough. I kind of almost remember how I did it last year, but I don't, uh, there's a risk that you'll miss them, so I need to look at the timing. Okay, so here's what it looks like. This is clear. Focus. There we go. There's the start. There's the first spot. Well, the first town that is most easy. Between that, I'll be rejoining the race route. It's a 20 minute drive from Driffield to the first climb. It take them about an hour. Perfect. And the next one is an hour's drive, and it takes them an hour and 45 minutes. I expect to rejoin the race route somewhere around here, and then get a shot of them in between, and hopefully be able to rejoin another lane to get back to here. It's a 45 minute drive from the, from the second climb to the finish, and it is about, about an hour and a half, about an hour and 15. That's basically the plan. Rejoin the race route when I can, and make sure I get to the spots I want to get to in time. It's a relatively simple idea. It works majority of the time. There are also days when it doesn't work at all. Things can change. But this is what I've been doing for all the stages, finding points where I believe will be worth photographing and then give myself around about an hour um, because driving time is roughly around about that. Or 20 minutes to, to an hour anything more than that you're you're in a you get into a sticky situation so th that's basically it it's all pretty simple i'm gonna finish doing this and then i'm gonna go over to my friend's place catch up with him before i head off tomorrow 
Got to meet the team at about four o'clock at the hotel. Have dinner. Kind of see everyone, catch up again. Actually get to sit down with some of them and really talk to them. It's been a pretty easy but good day. Tomorrow, tomorrow will be, again, a pretty easy day. It's just a travel day. Travel days are usually relatively easy. Anyway, thanks for the likes and thanks for the subscribes. It means a great deal. Um, hope you carry on enjoying the vlogs. I've got the suction club all set up now and a few other things, so we should be able to bring you along to the actual race and you get to see it properly from my point of view. Anyway, thanks for watching. Good night.